Hi folks, Alice here. We're back and it's Monday, March 9th and it's 11.40 a.m. I did a video this morning of daisies. However, I turned my phone like this and it wouldn't upload like that. So I'm stuck doing my videos like this um, until I figure out how to really use my computer because I have a camera on my computer that I could do. Um, but anyway, so what we're going to do today are just daisies. Easy peasy, peasy peasy daisies. I'm going to close my door to keep all the animals and stuff out. But that never works, does it? No. Okay. So... What we have is our reference picture, easy peasy, daisies. There's a ladybug on that. I don't care too much for it, so we're not going to put that ladybug in there. Yeah. So what we have is a bunch of daisies with the blue sky. So, let's get your materials together because I am ready. And I got a new paint that I want to try out. Okay, so I have my handy dandy canvas, which is a 12 by 16 canvas. 12 by 16 canvas from Michaels. And I got, I'm only using two brushes today. I'm going to use one brush for my entire painting. I am using my one inch brush to do my background and then I am using my cat's tongue. It's a filbert. It's a small one. I'm gonna use that. So easy peasy, two brushes, two brushes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put you down and then I'm going to show you my palette. Okay, there we go. So we have the palette. We have yellow dioxide or yellow oxide, uh, burnt sienna, phthalo green, dioxide purple, phthalo blue, titanium white. And this here is a new paint. Well, it's a structure gel, so you mix it with your paint, so it gives it a different effect. This is Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl. Which, I don't know if you can see that, but it has a really, really nice shimmer to it, like an opal. Or like Mother of Pearl. Um, so we're going to try that out. I did forget my hooker's green, so I'm going to go ahead, throw my hooker's green on there. Bam! Easy peasy. And forgot to put my apron on. I don't want to mess up this beautiful shirt. Oh my god! Yeah! It's freaking gorgeous! I'm actually on a clean clothes. I don't know why I haven't done my laundry. I went and I got the oil changed in the car today. So for some reason, um, they were behind. So it took an hour to get my oil changed and I went to Mr. Lube at Walmart. So I dropped the car off and he goes, oh, it's gonna be about 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm like, okay, no problem. You know, I'll walk around Walmart. And then that's where I got this. This is uh, simply acrylic, it's acrylic paint. And it's in a really big tube, like huge, like eight and a half ounces, like my big tubes that I spent $10 for at Michael's. This was $5.97 and it's just a base and it's Mother of Pearl Structure Gel. So you just put it in with your other colors and it will give it a Mother of Pearl effect. So I'm going to try it with the daisies and see when the light hits the daisies if it gets a really nice glimmer of different color. So, what we're going to do is, there we go, 
paint our canvas blue. What are you thinking, Alice? The whole canvas blue? Why don't I just paint it, you know, like leave it, it's white. Our daisies are white. Our daisies are white. So we wanna paint it like a sky. So we're gonna take our, well, I'm gonna take my one inch brush, bam, boop, right like that. And I'm gonna take it into my phthalo blue and I'm gonna come right up here to the corner and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go like, paint that in there like that And then I got high, and then I got high, and then I got high. So there's two different techniques that you can do. Well, actually, there's lots of different techniques you can use for the background if you like. And I'm going to show both of them to you. This one here is the one I like. This is the technique I like, and it's just like little X's or uh, like little C's or whatever. There's another technique that you can just do. I need to get some more phthalo blue out. Just a little bit. I find that I'm wasting a lot of paint. I put a lot of paint out that I don't use. So I picked up little containers today. Where are they? I picked up little containers today from Michaels and it comes on a little uh, palette for I think $6.99 or something. And when I have leftover paint, I'm going to start putting them in here and reusing them. Got a budget, folks. Got a budget. So we'll just pull some more of that phthalo blue out. And now we're going to go back and forth on the canvas like this. Back and forth. Back and forth. Just putting the paint into the canvas. Now I'm going to turn and show you the canvas. See the technique that I have up here with you could use little X's or little C's or whatever, but it gives it a little bit of uh, like background texture. Or you can just use the straight back and forth technique, the straight back and forth technique where you have no lines or no anything. I don't like that, so I'm gonna just paint that in. Now go back over, make sure you filled in all your spaces, all the whites, all whatever you're going to do. And now what we're going to do is we're going to paint the sides. Yep, so we don't forget. Paint the sides. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Turn it that way. Turn it that way. So, I need to start, or we need to start a group. We need to get a tech group in here, right? We all go, we uh, try different strains of flower, and then we come in here, we do our videos. You know, the tech people can video it and do the the sound and different camera angles and everything. I have one camera angle and it comes from my cell phone, which is a Wowie. I use a Wowie P30 Pro because I use it, I think it's got four cameras in it and I use it for my, uh, for my job. My, the camera I use for my job. Okay, so we got the blue in there. We're all done with that brush and our paint is gone. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna dry this. So I don't know if you want to be around while I dry this or not. <coughs> hey, 
Hair dryer can be code word for break time. Break time, go and help yourself to a coffee, uh, grab yourself a toke or two, and come back, and then this will be dry. Okay? All right, I'm just going to pause you. There we go, folks. Done. Bam, instant dry. I hope you had time to go and do whatever you needed to do. I'm going to have another owl mug. I got this owl, winter owl mug from uh, the Superstore. Superstore. Okay, so now that this is dry, what we're going to do is we're going to put in our grass. So, like I said, I'm only going to use one brush. One brush, the Little Phillips Cat Tongue. Yep. Okay. So, what we want to do is I want to use the Phthalo Green. And come in here. And you know what? You can start your the bottom of it anywhere. You can start in the middle. You can start off to the side. You can start off to the other side. For this one here, we have it three quarters here. So it starts here, you know. Um, so let's just, uh, let's just continue to do that one. So what you want to do is put your brush on the, the canvas, pull up, and as you, as you go up, Lift lightly on the canvas and then whoop, off it goes. Not off the canvas, don't like take your leaves off the canvas. Just press hard and then as you go up, as you go up, you press lighter and it gives it, I know I got the blinds behind me too. Oh my God, excuse me. Oh my god. And we're just going to lay down the first coat of green. You're probably thinking, oh my god, I can't even see that. Well, you're right, you can't see it. So we're just laying down like the under color. Okay? Just laying in the under color. See that? Kind of looks like a fan. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to make take some hookers green. Straight hookers green. Okay? And we're going to come in here and we're going to do the same thing. It's a different color green. Do the same thing with the hooker screen. Make some grass. Making some grass. See that? Two different colors of green. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add in our stems. And we're going to use our hooker's green for that. And we have four stems over here. We have four stems. We have one, two, three, four or stems. Okay. Whew. So, one of those stems just comes straight up. So we're going to get our hookers green and we're going to start our stem right about here and pull it down into the grass. Easy. See? Pull it down into the grass. 
Gonna get some more, and this one up here is gonna be a little rounded, so you wanna do that, and into the grass. Then we got a little bud right about here, make them into a little C and into the grass. We got another little guy coming up here. So we're gonna come up here and into the grass it goes. Easy peasy. Now, we're gonna make some leaves on our stems and we're still gonna use the hooker green and we're gonna come in. And we're gonna do like a little C and then another little C. C and a C. A C and a C. See that? And you know what? You put them wherever you want to put them. You don't have to put them where I'm putting them. You put them wherever you want to put your leaves. And now if you look at the picture that I have over there, we don't have leaves. We didn't put leaves out there. Okay, now we're gonna get into the white. Now I put a lot of white out here, I really shouldn't have. And I'm gonna take a little bit of white, put it in with the hooker green, and make a nice bright color. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna highlight, ooh, some more grass. Look at that green. Look at that green. Highlight the grass. Oh my gosh. That is nice. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Now, highlight the grass wherever, you know, you want to you want to take it up higher. You can take it some leaves up higher. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into that same highlighted color and we're just going to highlight our stems. Not too thick, we're just highlighting. Same with our... our leaves. Just because, you know what, I want it to stand out. I'm gonna put my brush in the water. What do you think of that? That's nice. That is nice. All right, what we're gonna add next are our uh, like button tops, mushroom caps, the middle of our flowers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of the brown, I think it's burnt, burnt sienna or something, and we're gonna give this guy here a little mushroom top or what you wanna call it, half moon, like half round circle, half something. Uh, we got another half one right about here. And we got another half one right about here. So they look like mushrooms or Muffin tops, mushrooms or muffin tops. Okay, we're gonna rinse, oh yeah, we're gonna rinse that out. And while our paint is still wet, we're gonna go into the little bit of yellow oxide. Mix in with that little bit of brown, little bit. And then we're gonna go in and we're just gonna highlight the tops of the mushroom caps. that okay now we're gonna rinse that same brush and now we're gonna start our petals now because the it's uh, a uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, blue background 
We're gonna use a little bit of dioxide purple. Just, well, actually, we're gonna take some white, little bit of purple, little bit more. And we're going to make got too much paint on there. You got too much paint on there, you got two options. You can either wipe it off. Oops. Put that back on there. Get some glue. You can either wipe it off or wash it off. So we're just going to give it a wipe. We're going to come up. We're going to start here. And we're just going to press down and pull up. See, press down and pull up. Press down, pull up, press down, pull up, press down, pull up, press down, pull up, press down, pull up. Gonna make it a little bit bigger because our canvas is big. Okay, and now we are going to do this one right here. This one's the same as that one. Press down and go up, press down, go up, press down, go up. Okay. And now this guy here is just a bud. So we're just going to do like a leaf. We're going to make like a C, a C, and then one down the middle. He's just a bud. A little bud. Okay. And now we are going to go right to here. This one's only open halfway, so... Just like that, okay? This one over here. He goes all the way around. All the way around. There we go. And same with this guy. This is our big one. There we go. We can put another one right here if you want to, but I like this here and I like the grass. So I'm not going to. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to give this a quick dry. Just a quick dry so we can get our second coat on it. And this is where I would like to use that new uh, gel uh, structure paint and add it in with the white and see what I get. Maybe I should practice it on something and see how it turns out. Let's try that. Okay, I have a canvas here that I did earlier today for the sideways one. This is the tutorial I did this morning, guys. And I did the camera angles all wrong. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull into my white, I'm gonna pull into that gel paste and I'm just going to place it on here and see if I can see anything. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, okay, I can see a little bit right here. Yeah, but what I think we're going to do is we're gonna paint the flower in and then go back over top of it and paint that over top of it. Okay, so we're gonna take our white because daisies are white. Actually, I'm gonna give my brush a rinse. It's got a lot, a lot of paint in it. 
So I'm gonna give my brush a rinse, tap it off, come into the white, and we're gonna start back over here and we're just going to, you don't have to uh, cover the entire thing if you don't want to. Like go over everything that you've already done. You can leave some of the purple coming through for extra leaves, which looks super nice. Mm -hmm. I got a text message from my buddy, Sarah. I wonder what she's doing. So the bud. <laughs> and now we're gonna do this guy here. Oh, this looks super nice, guys. I think this one turned out better than the one I did this morning at seven o'clock in the morning. There we go. I'm just going to give my brush a rinse. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this gel right over top of right over top of my daisy petals and this actually should dry clear like this shouldn't go on white it'll go on like a nice uh a nice clear coat color with that tinge of mother pearl. I'm going to do this flower here. Adding that gel paste just over top to see how it'll turn out. Give my brush a rinse. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna make some petals that look like they're falling. So you just go C, C, comma, comma. C, C. And now we're gonna make some green ones. Go right into the green and see, 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 see. Easy peasy. Easy daisy painting tutorial. Easy painting daisy tutorial. Well, I'm, oh no, no, we're not done. We gotta take our brush and we gotta fix our middle to pieces there. So we're gonna take a little of our yellow uh, oxide and with our brown and we're just gonna go in, make circle, make a half circle there, make a circle. And that cleans those edges up there. See that? Oh, look at the, can you see the, yes, you can see the reflection of the mother of pearl. It looks super nice. We could have even added that in the grass, but you know what? I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Easy peasy daisy painting tutorial by Alice. Thanks folks. We'll see you later.